Hello and welcome to the Armanino Consulting Microsoft Dynamics CRM Tutorial Series. My name is Rob Harrison and I'll be your host. Our topics for today, Advanced Find and Personal Views. So let's jump right into the software and see how this works. I've opened up to my CRM system and I'm in my list of contacts and I am in a view referred to as My Active Contacts. And if I grab that drop down, you'll see there's a number of system views, and these are generated by the administrator or added to by the administrator. But down below, you'll see there's a section for my views. And this is where we can create our own views to target the folks in the system we want to see. So let's take a look and see how this works. We're going to go up to our advanced find button, and I'm going to create a new one. And it's based on contacts and I'm looking for just contacts in the city of Seattle so I'm going to choose address city equals Seattle. I'm going to add one more thing to this. Uh, CRM has an option for deactivating contacts and in most cases I don't care to see the deactivated ones. I only want to see Seattle active contacts so I'm going to add the status equals to this query so it limits it to just active contacts. So let's do a little preview on it. The results button will give us that and we can see that there are 11 in the system. Now it's a pretty bare bones list of columns and CRM gives us the ability to tailor each one of these advanced finds and add the columns that are valuable to us for each one of those. So I'm going to go back to advanced find and I'm going to choose edit columns and here I might add any fields from my contact record and I'll add email. I want to know what that person's email address and you can see you can choose any of those fields that are on your contact record. We'll place it and I'll open it up so that the column is wider every time we come to it and we'll say OK. So now we need to save it. And here we go and this is going to be Seattle contacts. Now we're going to click away from contacts just so that I can refresh my drop down of my views. And now when I come to contacts this is where the personal views come into play. And now you'll see that we've got the Denver, we saw that before, and we have Seattle. So the unique thing about advanced finds is that these lists are dynamic. So every time I choose this personal view it's going to query the system at this moment in time and only show me the records which match the query that I've designed. So right now there's 11. If we were to add more contacts to the system and they were to match that expression from the advanced find, they would show up in this list automatically. Likewise, if there's a change to an existing record and it no longer matches that query, it will not be displayed here. So it's live real-time data. Now, the last thing I want to share with you on the concept of advanced finds is sometimes people be looking over your shoulder and they'll say, how did you do that? How'd you get that list? And you could take the time to show them how to do it, or you could actually share this personal view. So I've got the Seattle contact selected. I'm going to go back to the advanced find button. And this is one that a lot of folks overlook. There is a button right here for saved views. And here are the two personal views that I have. So if I wanted to share this with someone, or both of them, I could select them both, hit the share, and then I can add either a user or if I had teams defined. So I'm going to give D access to this. Now the default here is she can use it, but she can't change it. Um, and then I have some control whether I can allow her to share it with other folks. I can allow her to modify it uh, for this example, she can use it, she can share it with other people, but that's it. So here we go. Now the next time D comes into her CRM system and she chooses this drop down, she too will see Seattle contacts. So there is a quick introduction to the concept of advanced finds and personal views. I hope you found that valuable. If you'd like to learn more about implementing Microsoft CRM within your organization, please give us a call or drop us an email. We'd be happy to help you through the process. Thanks so much and have a great day.